It is March 30th, 6.30 a.m. Just waiting for the guys to pop in. Uh, I took a nice swing trade on GJ last night. Yeah, last night. Took it on the one hour as price was coming up here. Closed above the resistance right here on the 30 minute. I entered right there. Stop loss right down here and grabbed about 53 pips up here. So price continually making higher highs and higher lows, just on its way up to retest this high. It's what I anticipated. Now, are we forming a support right over here on GJ to continue bullish? Let's see how much range we have. Got about 26 pips to play with. This 30 minute hasn't created a bottom wick. One hour.
Gio, what's up, man? I know you can't talk. It's all good. <laughs> there you go. Good morning. How's your morning going so far? You just wake up? Looks like we uh, we have this resistance right over here that was respected over here, and we closed above that resistance. Doing good, yeah. Woke up like awesome. Um, yeah, I'm doing great, man. Uh, just woke up to 53 pips in profit. Yeah, actually, no, that's not it. Grabbed a swing last night. I sent it to the analysis chat, but we had a. Let's see, what was this? Yeah. We had a um, a higher low for me on the four hour over here. I was I was I just did the analysis and then I was sitting on GJ. I was like, wait a minute, we have a potential for a price to come up and, and retest these highs. So we were in an uptrend, came up, created this high up here. Well, actually, we created this high up here, but came down, created support. Then we created this high, but we came down and created a higher low with this candle closing with no bottom wick, and then this candle looking like it was about to pass the high of that candle, and that's where I entered. I entered on the, technically the 30 minute, but it was based on the one hour, the way the one hour looked. I was coming above this level. I put my stop loss below this wick down here, and woke up to 53 pips in profit. Uh, never had to manage or anything. Price just making higher highs and higher lows. And um, that was about it. So uh, let's see what we're doing here. Yeah, so that last night didn't take it because I just want my account to be tested. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's good discipline. Now, whatever makes sense to you, you, you never have to take anything that other people are, are uh, taking or sending and all that stuff. Don't always feel obligated. A lot of people do, and they get stuck in that. They get you know they they get enticed by other people's trades and um it's not healthy for your discipline when your discipline isn't intact yet yours is uh so far yours has been awesome so um you've been sticking to your plan doing the things you're doing and consistently you're gonna just you know eventually become nice and profitable and and uh i think you already are right even though it's you know it's uh maybe a smaller account or anything like that, but uh, eventually you're going to be very comfortable with the gains that you're making. So I'm waiting for this candle to close. I'm probably not going to take anything unless I really like it, but I do like the setup over here. It's what I look for every time. Um, but just because I had that overnight trade, so may just be sitting back unless, like I said, I've, I see something that I like. Like if we get a close right here on the 15 minute above this area, we could be taking this up. I want to see where my trading plan takes me. I exactly. And so even if I see a hyperbolic setup, Dude, that's that's perfect. That's what I, I'm trying to preach to everybody to do. So that's perfect, man. If a trade like that is not in your trading plan, you know, don't do it. Or maybe you can form another trading plan for any kind of swing strategy if that's what you're looking to do. But uh, if it's not in your, your scalp strategy to hold a trade overnight like that, then uh, definitely don't do it. So well done, man.
Yo, yo. You this piece. What's up, buddy? What's going on, brother? How are you? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Took two trades this morning. Uh, nice. Not, not like, well, one, it was a double entry on gold. It's on the, it's in the co-op journal, but... Um, nice. Yeah, I've 10 pips first trade. Then the four-hour candle opened up and it created a top wick, which... Um, uh, stopped me out of break even and then I just re-entered as that four hour flip bearish that's um, awesome and it was perfect but uh, I, the only thing was I didn't really need to take two trades I could have just taken one trade mm. and the one trade would have been just waiting for the four hour to flip I like what the, the uh, what gold looks like right now yeah I'm in a cell at the moment still I'm just holding a runner so awesome I thought you were done with gold I, I was too and then I came <laughs> you on smile. I, I, oh. I, I, I was, but I, I came on and I liked the look of it this morning and I've lowered my risk and right, man. the analysis was there and I think it was good, but um, I, I'm, I, I like gold. I still like it. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, to give up on it just yet. I want to, again, continue to back test it and continue to work on it. But um, I think today was, was pretty good now for gold, good for shit, the, the sales this morning, so. Did you have any? Um, oh, you put it in the co-op journal. Awesome. Yeah, it's already journaled. I just I've got a runner still going, so it's not fully journaled just yet. So I'll have to go into the co-op and just look at it and see what, what the story you're is. Keeping, but, uh, you're keeping the uh, keeping the money out of your head. Yeah, it's a, it's still going to be a it's still going to be a bitch to me, to be honest with you. Um, but I, I think hang on, just one second. My dog's just here. Man. He just wants to get up on the. Just wants to get up on the air. Uh, there he is. Me, the old man. The, yeah, the old man. What's right. up, buddy? He, he, he wants to do a bit of trading this morning. He does. Mm. <laughs> right. Don't let him play with your meditator. <laughs> they probably get me stopped out. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um, it, it, it is still a, a bit of being a bit of a bitch to me, but I think I think I'll be able to get. I think I'll be able to get my head on it once we're doing. We're staying structured. We're staying disciplined. And like this morning, um, I got up a little bit later than I was supposed to, but like still, um, I like woke up and I didn't, I heard my alarm and then I, I don't know what the fuck happened. I was literally lying there and then all of a sudden yeah. I was, it was like 15, 20 minutes later. So I just jumped straight out of bed and I did, uh, I, I actually was, I was fast. This, so yesterday I did my run down Um, I did my run like I did this morning as well, but I was faster today than I was yesterday, so I was pretty happy Let's with go. that. Good shit, man. Yeah, it was it was only marginal, but um, yeah. Good shit, bro. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, it's um some some days you're gonna have days like that yeah. where um you know you you really I don't know whatever it is you just you're not feeling it right. Yeah. And the um the main thing that you want to do. Oh, I'm in the wrong account. The main thing that you want to do is make sure that you don't let that linger on the rest of the day. No, yeah, absolutely. It's very easy to get off to the wrong start and then let that kind of get in on your day. And, you know, but I still got up this morning, had did the workout, felt it, my legs are really, really tired at the moment, but um, I still felt really, really good. And then came home or came home, cold shower, had my breakfast, oats. And uh, it's just so, it's such a nice day here. So like the hottest it's been all year so far. Oh, it's not and, raining over there. No, it's not. It's like, <laughs> it's, like it's like seventy degrees uh, Fahrenheit. I'm just kidding. Man, I'm telling you, every time if you come to Ireland, I I, I can bet you to. any amount of money that there that it will be raining that week. I know, I know. It's the so, worst. Yeah, I was just busting your balls for that. <laughs> That's why if we're doing this. like if we're doing like a group meetup or something, we're definitely not doing it in Ireland because. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. What's up, Giovanni? What's up, guys? How David. What's up, boys? Morning, fellas. Contemplating taking this on GJ, but I like gold a little bit better. Yeah, be careful with GJ right now because it. I know. Maybe don't. I already took a trade overnight last night, so. Oh, you got the buy? Uh, yeah, I got it uh, on the four hour. Yeah, bro, me too, man. Oh, you got this? I got the whole 42 pips. Let's go. 
Good shit. Got fifty three. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a nice one. I, I, I was sitting there. I, I was just explaining to Geo sitting there um, after the analysis, and I'm like, wait a minute. I just posted the analysis, too. I'm like, we get an opportunity right here in the one hour. Yeah. Especially the four hour. Look at the doom uh, bottom that was formed on the four hour. Yeah, it's a, it's a higher low over here. And this yep. candle was passing the high on the four hour. It's perfect. <clears throat> but I'm looking at gold right now. Um, I'm just contemplating even trading today. I'm sure you maybe feel the same way. Yeah, I'm happy with that win. Exactly. Like, I'm happy just sitting back and. What was your entry? You don't mind uh, me asking. Yeah, sure. Uh, like the actual, like trade. Yeah. Let's see. Would you take it from the five minute, fifteen? Um. Let's see. Oh, I took it on the thirty as a thirty minute closed above, but took it at one fifty one two forty four. That's clean. 51, 51, 244. Yeah, right around here. This is the 15 minute. So look at the 30 minute. Took it based on the 30 minute. Two, four, yeah, somewhere around here. I got, um, obviously, you got the spread in there. So I was taking it somewhere around here. Nice. I think I just took it as soon as this candle closed above. I waited for 7.30. But GJ looks clean right now. Mm -hmm. I like it. We got these wicks over here, um, which could serve as a resistance right now. Maybe you want to wait for a close above that area. Or just like a close above here. But we should be heading up. That, that shouldn't stop it, but we'll see. But I do like gold. Jesus, man. If I would have hold, held my, my trade from since yesterday. Oh, I man. Oh, man. Profits, 300 pips. Yeah. Jeez. That'd, be, that'd be beautiful. That was, a, that was a nice trade from the daily. I know. The daily. My entry on GJ was... Uh, 151, 334 because of the spread. That's awesome. Oh, original, and, and GJ, you said? Yeah, my original, the one that I had on Trading View, because the spread always puts me up a little higher. I don't know why. It sucks. Oh, yeah, of course. It always does. But my original trade entry was 151, 300. Right after that five minute close on the twenty one right here. On twenty one forty. Probably around here. Yeah. Waited for that support to form. Mm, no, it was on the five minute and I took it. I saw the break on the my tread line, my counter tread line. And then I took it off the five minute. Ah, right here. The twenty one forty, that was the time that I took it at. You're saying the counter trend you had like something like this? Yeah, I had something like that. But it, it extended. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good shit, man. Good shit. I love that we're, a lot of us are catching these now. Yeah. And it was a, uh, I saw the double bottom on the floor. I was like, ah. Kind there of goes gold. I know. Yeah. I'm good staying out. Yeah. I don't. I'm definitely going to be journaling. I think on. No, gold is going to reach 1683, man. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I should have entered as this candle closed. It's a perfect setup. Let me take my magic keys off of here. Dude, you always got to double check magic keys. Make sure you're pressing the right button. Too many people hit the wrong button and taking the wrong trades. <coughs> oh.
Joe, you looking at anything? David? Bobby? You guys looking at anything? Uh, no, I'm just waiting for GJ. Nice. That's one thing as well. Um, deleting MetaTrader off my phone has been so helpful. Good shit. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with it at the moment now. I've got trading view on the phone. Um, oh, for God's sake. Just, you know, taking these steps that you need to take, you know? Yeah, like today, with between the two trades that I took, I uh, just closed my gold trade there just because um, I want to be done for the day at the end of the month and stuff. I'd rather kind of sit back, relax now and do back testing and journal up some trades have, wait for gj to make this move and, and journal that see what it does instead of you know being stuck in the market or anything even with a small runner but um no i think that um like even today i made I mean, if we're talking percentages like again obviously it, if we're you know um with the um challenge you're doing and stuff like that i suppose it's going to have more of a heavy em emphasis on percentage rather than monetary amounts, which yeah. is, which for me is probably going to be very, very helpful. Yeah. Um, but again, I don't want to get, so, I don't want to get like zone in on that too much either. You know, I just want to, yeah, what, wanna... if, what if you sat back like for, for this one and then, yeah. you know, like just watched it happen, watched mm. like how we reacted to it, just sat back mm -hmm. and analyzed it. And then you know maybe the next one or next. Yeah, week, I think I think that I think it's a better one best, to be honest. Because yeah. if this if it's like you know if we if I was to start doing it and I got it I got a you know a bit annoyed or something and things happened or something happened you know I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to see myself throwing away any progress exactly. that we're making at the moment. You know what I mean? So like you're you're again, on a great track right now. And you just don't want anything to kind of derail that. No, I think for me, again, it's just I need to eliminate some factors, some small tendencies, small habits that I'm thinking of. Um, need to focus and zone in on those ones and realize, recognize the enemy in, in these situations, you know, and recognize. Yeah. Exactly. So I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I will sit it out. And sure. the main thing for me, as I said, is just to kind of stay calm, collected, remaining as relaxed instead of being like a kid on Christmas every yeah. day. I come to the charts, like, because it's exhausting. It's honestly exhausting. Your your main priority, I think, is just making the right decisions, and you're making it right mm. now. Like you're making mm. progress right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you just continue to stack good decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like stacking days, stacking hours, stacking that's weeks. It. That's uh, it. But you're stacking decisions right now. And that's exactly. you're doing it in the market, taking smart trades, getting out of gold at the end of the month. Fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing with this challenge. Listen, I'm not ready for this challenge yet. I think it's going to derail, derail my progress. I'm going to yeah. sit out. Another great decision. You know, you just mm -hmm. keep stacking these. You're going to gain confidence in yourself. You're going to mm -hmm. start believing in yourself even more and more. And that's where you want to get to. Uh, it's super Agreed. important. It's, it's one of the most important, probably the most important, you know, because it, it does tie into trading. No, 100%. I think so, too. Because um, it ties into the, the decisions that you make in the market. When, when you're doing journaling, that can I just ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just let me do this real quick. I wanted to check out DJ for Geo. Let's see. All right. What's up, buddy? So, um, right. Wait, did you want to check out 
um, GJ for Geo, or do you want me to can I go ahead and ask? Well, yeah, I was just looking at it. So, Geo, this is kind of what I'm looking at. Mm, no, I was looking at it's just from earlier with gold. Um, I just wanted to see what, what your opinion was about. So, yeah, um, yeah, on gold this morning, as I was saying, we had the four hour candle that created a top wick, right? But just before, so if you go on the four hour, yeah, um, over here, you'll see, yeah. So if you now, yeah, it's the current four hour. Yep. See the way it creates, it creates that nice top wick, yeah. Oh, yeah. I entered at 9.45, which was just before that four hour candle opened up, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't look at the higher time. I looked at the higher time frames in terms of looking for confirmation and I seen what I was seeing on the 15 minute, which was fine. But yeah. I, I didn't look at the four hour and I realized afterwards that if I looked at the four hour, I would have seen that I needed for the four hour to create the top wick for me to then take the trade. Um, but, so I entered on the close, um, or I entered at 9.45 my time, just before the four hour closed, okay? Mm -hmm. By the time I got to 10 o'clock my time, I was 10 pips in profit on gold, okay? okay. I secured. Now, could, should I have left? Again, I want like your opinion, because you're trying to do it now with some of your trades where you're leaving your stop loss, the current, the when you open up your trade and you set your stop loss, even after you secure your 10 pips, you still leave the same stop loss. Should I have left it or what, just in general, what, what do you think about the trade? Like? Gold, gold is a different pair than something like GJ. So gold okay. can rip back up real quick and take you right out. Mm -hmm. um, gold is something that you want to secure pretty quickly. Okay. If you're scalping, okay. Um, you know, if you if you're trading on the higher time frames and leaving a runner in, kind of like you know, if if uh, uh, Gio held this or Giovanni held this, um, he could have mm -hmm. left a stop loss at break even and caught this whole thing. Uh, yeah. But he's doing this based on the higher time frames, mm -hmm. so you know that's a little bit different. But if you're scalping gold. You know, you want to it, – it's very difficult to scalp. So you want to secure yeah. as, as much as possible. You want to trail your stops because um, it could turn right around real quick uh, out mm -hmm. of nowhere. You know, GJ doesn't do that typically as much. No. Okay. But, yeah, you just want to be aware of that. Again, and then the analysis that I should have waited. Do you think that taking the entry before the close of the four-hour – I should have waited for the four hour to t create a top wake or for the next yeah. four hour to open up or okay. Definitely wait for that top wake to film um, form, especially if you see previous candles, you know, the, the yeah. last previous ones created a top wake over here, not as big, mm -hmm. but you know, all these four hour candles all have top wicks. Mm -hmm. So what are the chances of the next candle that, that you just so happen to enter on? Never doesn't have a top weight. Yeah, I, I yeah, it was. I think it was still. A, I think it was like a, a clean entry. And it was good. But yeah, yeah. Just, again, me, uh, I just. Let me see. Let's take a look at it. What's up, Alan? I don't know if you could hear me. I gotta critique some of these. Oh wow, we got a lot from last week. Let's go. Yeah, I'll critique all these today. Let me just put this in my reminders. Take a look at some trades today, kids. Damn, I woke up super hungry today. Jesus. Yeah, I'm always hungry on these. Critique group. Nathan, do you draw your Connor trend lines? Uh, where was this? I didn't know. I used Fibonacci for the first time, though, which I was pretty pretty happy with. And the you were you were awake. You were awake once the market uh, five forty five, right in the morning. Yeah, there was like yeah five forty five, and then it was like 
I did my Fibonacci from top to bottom and then the Fibonacci respected the 38 and then as soon as it respected the 38 zone shot back down formed a resistance as that candle closed um, that's where I entered on the 15 minute and then the next 15 minute push bearish 10 pips secured and then the four, the four hour opened next 15 minutes shot up created a top wick and then continued down I'm about to check it out. One second. Just yeah, no worries. See what GJ is doing. Man, I'm telling you, knowing your candlestick analysis, it helps a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's you're, like it's right in front of you. You know what I mean? You know, you don't have to go. You're just reading what's in front of you. You're not looking. You're not doing anything extra that you wouldn't be doing. So you're just reading what's in front of you. Yeah, and this this would have been a clean entry right here. I'm gonna send it to you. On gold. Uh, let's see, four hour second entry. Okay, so you entered as the four hour flipped, flipped exactly. And then uh, I created now that was the second entry. The first entry was the first 15. There's like a the first 15 minute screenshot that I've got in the attachments. That's where I took the first trade. Flips, send secured. All oh, right, over here. Yeah, so that was the so. I, like I if you go a tiny bit back, that's the fir- fifteen minute first and second trade. If you go to the fifteen minute for the first trade, I think it's the next screenshot. Yeah, so we have comes down, forms a support. It comes up, respects the thirty eight zone resistance. Then formed as the fifteen minute closed below the previous bullish candle. Then I entered, took ten pips. Next fifteen minute candle was the opening of the four hour as well. So that shot up and knocked me out at break even. And then I re-entered as the four-hour flip, as I said. Good shit, man. Beautiful. Yeah, I like the setup. Obviously, we're in a downtrend. You wait for the resistance to form. Yeah. Wait for the, the candle to close in your direction. And you just mm-hmm. take this down, anticipating this mirror to get or this move to get mirrored. Yeah, so, the only thing uh, was that this was literally as soon as I came to the charts. Like I wasn't looking at this move before. Mm. Like as I sat down, that 15 minute candle create uh, opened up, as in the 15 minute candle that that closed bearish just below the previous bullish candle, and it created the resistance at the top. That's something that you could put in your uh, trading journal too, like or not trading journal, but trading plan. Like, yeah, listen, sit down for a second and and yeah. give yourself because <laughs> that's that's a very bad habit that people could get into. I, yeah, you yeah. could win trades. I've, I've won trades doing that, but. You know, you get yeah. bit in the ass more times than not. But um, exactly, yeah, just throw that in your taking a GJ Brown once current thirty minute flip bullish, fifty minute past the high. Yeah, I'm, I was looking at the same thing, um, but I was thinking maybe uh, wait for price to to close above this area over here on the thirty minute. But if this candle flips bullish, I could see exactly what you're talking about to fill this wick, fill this wick up here. Let's check out Giovanni's. Awesome. Get this counter trend trade. Four pips above. <laughs> that's a sexy candle. I love it. But that's that's the entry. That's the clean entry for gold. Yeah. You you wait for the close below. Right yeah, over here. You, you wait until it gets the counter trend line, and then I wait for those type of candles. I wait for a sexy it. candle or a whole bearish candle with no bottom wick. Which um, which candle did you enter on? Oh, after this, so right here. Yeah, this is a paper trade. I didn't take this. Okay, five. I'm just showing Nathan where he could have entered. So that's your entry candle. Yeah, because then look, look at the stop loss. It's only about forty five pips. Yeah. You know that's that's, that's beautiful. Good for, that's good for gold. Oh yeah. And then the winnings. Your winnings are going to be 132 pips. It's amazing. Yeah, that was a move. Good shit. Ever since I've been using those counter trend lines, man, it's, it's helped a lot. Did and it? You see when the market is opening up for us. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that that's why I use trend lines. You know, they make sense. And if they don't make sense, I don't get the trade. Exactly. And I don't put them on my chart. Exactly. Yeah. That's the key. A lot of people get caught up in that. What's up, Justin?
Hey, how you doing? Good, man. You uh, looking at gold right now? Yeah. Finally got our move. Yeah, it's finally moving. Last week it was stuck in that little range. Oh, right, it's little. That was a big one. Yeah. Yeah, we got that drop. It's probably pricing in NFP, to be honest. You measure for NFP, it shoots back up to 1740. <laughs> <laughs> right back into the range. Yeah. At least you got 100 pips out of it. I remember once when, when Donald Trump was president, US 30 dropped like almost 1,000 pips. In one oh, day. yeah. Yeah. What, when we uh, we hit Iran? Yeah, something happened, man. And that shit dropped 700 pips. Yeah. I, took, I got 300 pips from it. I, I just jumped to – I was a cowboy that day. <laughs> I saw it melting. I was like, oh, got to get in. Amazing. Yeah, real no, mistake. Man. What's the wrong one? Yeah, right now, you uh, GJ is having a hard time passing that level. I know. That's why I'm, I haven't entered it. How does the four hour look? Yeah. Yeah, it's still bearish. Mm hmm. He created a, a resistance on the one hour already. Tuesday, New York. And on the five minute, it's creating a lower highs. Just trying to journal this real quick. So you're looking at the four hour on GJ? Yeah. Made a strong bullish push. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for that four hour close, see what happens. Mm. I'm in no rush to take GJ today. Wait till nine, nine o'clock? Yeah. The one hour is flipping. Yeah, I want price to be out of this area. Gio, you're saying um, if this candle passes the high of this one? You know what I've been noticing too, like on um, GJ, mm. the the move, the big move, likes to set up on um, like around Asian Asian session, and then in London and New York, it just finishes it off. Mm. That's how it's been, especially at ten o'clock at night. You know, you you get on the charts and you see what the four hours doing, and from there you can determine what what the market is gonna do with the price. I know. Yeah, it's um. That's how GJ's been the past, uh, I don't know, maybe a month. I've it's noticed whole... a lot of volume at the end of Asian like that. Yeah. So I just draw my counter trail line and wait. I actually waited actually to for that four-hour close. I wanted to see how, how it would close. And it closed in engulfing, engulfing the other candle. Mm. 
Where on uh, you talking about GJ? Yeah, on the four hour. Yeah. So that was another that was a confirmation that I took into consideration. This one. Yeah, and then I saw that it was a double bottom, a sideways double bottom. Mm-hmm. So that was this one's two, higher than this one. Yeah, that was two confirmations there. So then I was just I drew my counter trail line and waited. And then you saw a price close above this resistance over here, this rejection area. Mm-hmm. You got your and counter was, trend trade. Mm-hmm. Or trend line. Yeah. Justin and Alan, how have your weeks been since uh, yesterday? Good, bro. Took a trade yesterday, the same as you. And <laughs> yes, then, yeah. EJ. Nothing else, yeah. Yeah, on GJ and now looking at price. And yeah, waiting it to get out of the range. Good shit, man. Looking a little bit at gold, but not too much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just journal it. Slowly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just slowly. Hey, UJ. You guys don't trade UJ, right? Um, Hold on one second. Got a call coming in. All right. See, so yeah, that's a nice one. Gold. Let's see. Just fifteen minute flipping. See, I have to get rid of these. Uh, no. Justin, how about yourself? The, my week's been a, uh, so far been a lot better than the last week and a half, just because of the movement of gold. Yeah. Oh Probably, yeah. I think I've caught around 120 pips so far. Let's go. Energy. So. Yeah, so it's 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 been pretty good. Good for you, man. Good for you. Fifteen Did you get in right after the break? No, I got in. Um, I, I actually got in twice. Once was around 17, 14. And then the other time was around 17, 10. And I, my 17, 14, seven, 17, 14 was like a higher time frame. And the seventeen ten was the the fifteen that strategy I have for um, the fifteen minute uh, breaking close. Right over here. Yeah. And then seventeen ten after this candle closed. Yeah. Well. Um, sorry, I'm on my phone. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Let me see. Um, so if you can go to the four hour. So once, 
so so once it broke that um, support turned resistance mm-hmm. then I entered I entered there um, and I put it at 1714 it was kind of like an ancillary number that I chose just in case because because that range that gold has been in I didn't want to put it so close to the support and resistance kind of be sure that it was that it was gonna, really going to drop mm. because I had I, I had a, a bearish um, I don't know what word I'm looking for like a bearish view on it and so um, I, th- I thought that it would it would keep going down because it seems like um, with the economy open, opening back up with uh, employment numbers seem, or unemployment numbers uh, getting less and less Very good, I, yeah. I feel like it's it's going to keep going down, mm-hmm. but I mean, who knows? I mean, with NFP, it could very well reverse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not looking too likely for that to reverse. Manufacturing is very good as well. Um, obviously, you know, 2 million a day in vaccines, all that is pushing. Check out the dollar right now. Yeah. Dollar broke this consolidation over here. Retested. It's on its way up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah. That that's, a, that's a great point. Yes, yeah, sir. And then you got, let's check out the other currency indexes. So for, for GJ, UK 100 is, uh, it's good to look at as well. We're consolidating a little bit in here, but we're kind of stuck in this range. It's on the one hour. VIX is on its way up. Obviously, Gold is just dropping right now, so the VIX volatility index is going to be raising. And then Japanese currency index is on its way down. So, obviously, GJ made that move up this morning. It's definitely correlated. Um, has, has anybody heard anything about the Japanese uh, firm that, that got their ship stuck in the Suez Canal? Is the country of Japan going to be on the hook for that? or the, the, Because it seems like the damages are going to be astronomical. If if China isn't held responsible for COVID, then Japan's not going to be held responsible for this. Yeah. Well, actually, let me take that back. They shouldn't be if China isn't held responsible for COVID. Okay. Well, because... I, I was reading that the um, that it's like 10, 10 billion per day was lost as an estimate. Yes, yeah, and something like four hundred million a, an hour. Yeah, and it was it was it was just an astronomical number. I was like, yeah. oh my goodness, if they bring damages, because if they bring them to the shipping company, it's not really going to impact the end. But if they bring them to uh, if, if they bring them to the country, it still might not even impact it that much because what ten billion a, a I mean it's a it's a big number, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, but but maybe but but maybe the yen just trades so much money that it it's might not impact it that much. But I mean, who knows? Why did I hear five trillion? It, it's costed you know in business. Is, is that true? I don't know. I saw an article on Bloomberg. This morning, saying that they're adding up the damages, um, and so the only reason, I guess, to me, that you'd even attempt to add up damages is if you were going to bring them, um, if you were going to bring them to another party to kind of so you can get compensated for them. So, is is the Suez Canal owned by Egypt? Maybe. And I, I, didn't I, know that, I mean, it, it's in Egypt. Um... I don't know if it's like owned by Egypt, but it's it's definitely in Egypt. It's it's the main, you know, it's going from what the Mediterranean down to the Indian Sea, or yeah, I think you're yeah. right. I think it's from the Mediterranean to the Indian. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. World map. You gotta get that um, Google. What is it, Google? Uh... Growth. What's up, Jaden? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Good. 
How are you? Doing great. We're checking out the map of... Uh... Do I have to download this right now? Uh, of the Suez Canal, but gold just dropped. Just want to do all this. It, it finally it go, out of the zone. It goes from the Mediterranean to the Red Sea. To the Red Sea. Makes sense. So that's where it goes, yeah. Let's see how long this beauty takes. right in here wish there were labels on this ah oh, here we go the Red Sea yes you're right I believe it's somewhere in here but it's like even smaller than this oh Suez right here this is it that's crazy. Trying to fit that thing through there. I wonder how long it is. The Suez Canal. It looks. Do we have like a scale? Oh, wow. The Suez Canal is 120 miles. Wow, that's crazy. This is where uh, my family's from. Where? Cyprus. Oh. Romania. You ever, you ever go back there? What's up? You ever go back there? Just like yeah, this? yeah. I was uh, I was baptized there. Wow, there's a oh, cool. place in what's it in Turkey called Batman. <laughs> Wait, look, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, enough geography. So gold tanked. Just want to throw these in here. Jaden, you looking at anything? Uh, I've been in the gold cells since 1715. Let's go. You're still in? Yeah. It's awesome. Love it. You like this idea of a challenge, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got... Um, I'm making the uh, leaderboard. I already made part of it, but... I'm trying to, I got to make the, um, get the data for a bar graph and just watch the bar graph go up and we'll just update it at the end of the week. And then I'll do like a, a monthly leaderboard and then the yearly leaderboard. But right now we're just testing this out, trying it out, see how people like it. If it, you know, fucks with their trading, maybe they want to stay out. Um, but it's really, you really need your uh, discipline intact.
All right, all set. Wow. Great catch. All right, GJ stuck in here, but it looks like it's rejecting here. One price to exit this area. This candle never passed the low of the previous 30 minute either. But I want to close above this area out of the shit. I might not be trading today based on the fact that it's the end of the month and I got that swing last night. So I'm just going to hold back. This was the trade of the day. Desperado. Got a whole lot of money yet. All right. See what we got. Four signs of vaccine. It's working. Real world conditions not gone. Anybody ever watch Sopranos? I didn't. Alan, you did? No, I didn't. didn't. Oh, you didn't? What is it? It's, uh, it's, it's one of the most, uh, it, it's probably the best show of all time, uh, like uh, award-wise, and I had but some time ago. Um, okay, so Justin, does um, Ginny Sack, does that, Name ring a bell? Johnny Sack's wife? Um, no. No. <clears throat> no? It, 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 for me, it's, it's been a, a little while. I, I, I watched it while it was on HBO. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know how long ago that was. Um, I think it had to, what, about 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. Is, well, is that's that right? What it was on. It, it, the, the last season was 2007. Which is crazy to think about. That wow. well, it ended then, in 2007. It's nuts. Oh, wow. But um, do you you don't remember Ralph? Ralph Cifaretto? Yeah, I remember Ralph. Remember he made that joke about Johnny Sack's wife, Ginny Sack, I, like how, how she was like you know overweight. Ah. Uh. No, I don't remember that. Oh uh, well. Anyway, there's there's this like Sopranos meme um, Instagram, and it, it it just showed a picture of the 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 um, Ever Given the the boat that was stuck in the Suez Canal, but instead of Ever Given, it just says Jenny Sack. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's pretty funny. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, I don't know if you could see this, but it's just her name on it.
All right. Now, yeah, we got GJ just ranging over here. Let me message. Curious to start passing the door away. What's up, Bally? Not much. How you guys doing? Good, man. How about yourself? Pretty good, thanks. Good start to your morning. Yep. Good shit. Oh. Hold on. You, you guys waiting for that breakout over resistance on GJ? Ah, uh, yes. Nice. I'll break down in a second. It's so crazy. I normally wake up around 4.45, 5 o'clock, and um, it's just pitch dark out, obviously. But um, once I, like, you know, take a break or something or I, I need to go to the bathroom, I walk out the door and it's just, like, bright as day out. Like, it's like, what the hell happened? These these live streams go by so quick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we were looking at GJ over here, and, and before this candle – was like this. We we saw these candles. This candle came all the way up, created a wick to fill, form support. This candle came up, filled the wick, came all the way up here. Um, but it was having some issues over here on the 15 minute. And what I was doing was I was looking at this area on the 15 minute. I was saying, all right, maybe we can enter um, after this candle closes bullish with a wick to fill to continue bullish to fill this wick and continue up. But what I was looking at was this candle ended up coming down and created its bottom wick, but then it started pushing further down past mm. the low of this candle. So then I was like, you know what? We're going to wait for price to clear this area and close above this resistance over here, especially because we have this area over here to the left. We had this area right there. Right. But I just want to wait for price to close above here for the clean candle right here. To take that yep makes sense but i got a swing last night so i'm not eager to take anything so it's it's tricky that's kind of why i stayed out of gold wish i took this on gold but journal it move forward catch you next time so that must have been a nice swing then on gj yeah uh yeah it was um i think it was like 53 pips uh, i caught it last night as this awesome. candle closed above this area, uh, it was a swing trade based on the four hour. Just it was creating higher lows over here. This is the four hour price mm -hmm. is passing the high of this wick right here. I anticipate a price retesting this area. One second, no sneeze. So, um, yeah, it worked out. See. Bless you. Nice one. How's your week been, Ali? Uh, week's been good. Um, work has kind of been okay. Just a little busy with some things right now. Yeah. Uh, we got our year-end audit going on. We have uh, another audit going on. So a couple of things in the background, but otherwise it's it's pretty good. Awesome. Trading wise, I put a lot of time into back testing yesterday and did a couple days of simulation, so that was good too. How, how did the uh, I, I I'm like in the middle of having this sneeze right now, but how did the um, sim sessions go? They're good, but they're kind of noticing a pattern that I found, and that's um, like. What I tried to do is I tried to do the simulations after I back tested certain days so that I can go back and see um, 
did I actually take the setups that I thought I wanted to take? Um, and sometimes I did, but sometimes I didn't. So it tells me that I do need more practice in seeing everything live. Um, I think I get a little bit too anxious sometimes and I don't wait properly for candles to close and I start taking like weaker 15 minute trades and things like that. So um, that was just a pattern that I found and it's something that I've kind of struggled with throughout my trading career. So mm. it's just something for me to work on. Just, just waiting for, just sitting there and waiting. Exactly. Or just kind of being okay with taking weaker confirmation trades. Okay. Well, what, what, what setups do you normally look for? Uh, so typically it's just 30 minute closes with breaks of highs. Um, and maybe it was a time of, maybe it was a time that I was trading, but GJ was in a really, was moving in really small ranges, like 12, 13 pip ranges. Um, and so maybe it was because of that, that I felt like, if I didn't take a trade, let's say based off a 15 minute close, then I wouldn't just, I just wouldn't catch any trade at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't, don't get so enticed by that. Um, like if, if you have such a small range, maybe just wait for that range to break and then you take the next range. Yeah. It might be higher or bigger, you know? I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of having the sneeze. I don't know why. I can't. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> feel like i'm not like answering you the right way <laughs> oh this is torture go back and look at the sun <laughs> look at this oh yeah <laughs> Damn, that's a big candle. Stephanos, you're still muted. You're muted, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You don't even go here, bro. Um, yeah, so uh, as I was saying, the monthly, I don't know if you guys heard me, but the monthly is normally making its top wick up here. Um, and it's going to be retracing at the end of the month. So that's probably why you're getting this uh, – you know, it looked like we had a nice support formed, but if you look at the daily, we get that support right over here, right? Nice, healthy, bullish candle, continuing bullish to retest these highs and continue up potentially. Uh, the four hour, like I said, it's just retracing a little bit, um, coming right back into that range, but it is making higher highs and higher lows. So this would be a op good opportunity for a quick scalp, but you're trading against the trend over here, but you got a nice clean move to the left right over here. I'm trying to see if this would have been a good opportunity. Oops.
EJ's just ranging. Just had this one's up. Gio, did you take this or you're just sitting back? Home more disruption at the maximum through a complex network. Totally schedule supply chains and engine disruption. Wish we could use emojis right here. Thumbs up. Yeah. Love and pips. Essentially come right back down to here, 18 pips. Yeah. Could have put your stop loss up here. But the thing is, you want to close below this area, you know, and then you take the impulse coming down. If this was something like, let's see. This is what I normally look for in this instance. Yeah. This would have been a little bit more ideal. Could have put your stop loss right here. I like these setups right here, breaking a range. Anything new on crypto, Jane? Just lots of positive news. Just what? Just lots of positive news. Yeah, man. You load anything up yet? What? You scale in yet on anything? Or get into new in. coins? Nothing, nothing new. I'm I'm gonna get in on Cardano probably. Cardano. Let me see. Uh, let me see where what to call that. But everything's pumping right now. It's nice. Yeah. I still got that 100 bucks left in the uh, dog, doggy. <laughs> Doge. My friend just got a dog that's just like that one. Oh, really? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Gio, I wanted to ask you about this uh, the shoe raffle that you were talking about. Uh, support his fund. Wait, what did Gary say? One fifty one.
Um, so you're you're saying that it really doesn't take any time. It's just you're you're waiting on the raffle. If you win it, you sell it. If you don't win it, oh well. That's basically all this. Is I mean, you'd honestly be stupid not to do that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um. Yeah. Next time we uh we hop on the Zoom or back test, I'll get some info on on it and uh always look for other streams. Just a little something fun to do. That's awesome. Yeah, how long have you been doing it? I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> talking to the chat. <laughs> You're a streamer now. Yes, sir. It's a different game. Six months. That's awesome, man. Is there potential to make more or, you know, just by doing what you're doing right now, that's basically um, what you could be doing? Yeah, could you, oh, could you scale in on it then? Uh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to draw this. It'll be a robot. Sounds good, Gio. Sounds good. Dude, this gold trade's insane. It's awesome. Now, would you say this is your biggest trade? No. No. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> biggest trade in a long time, ever since I switched to scalping, though. But yeah. I just can't help myself when I see swing opportunities. What What made you want to switch over to scalping? You. Oh, cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah, as long as you like it and it makes sense. You've just been implementing, you know, your, your market analysis into the scalping game and Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, I'm kind of kicking myself. I didn't get in that gold trade. I was analyzing GJ for the group and journaling and everything, and I saw gold right, right over here. Perfect entry. Got this range over here. Price closed below with this candle. Right? Retested with this candle. Enter right after this close. Price passed the low of this candle. Closed in the engulfing compared to this one. And you put your stop loss right above these candles right here. Just let it drop. It's only like a what? What is it? A, 
11 pip stop loss. You would have caught shush, you would have caught 93 pips. Sheesh. Yeah. That's what you want. I've been messing around with <clears throat> um, trying different EMAs and moving averages and SMAs yeah. out um, to try to get more confidence in holding positions and scaling in. Yeah. I'm really liking the 50 and the 200 moving averages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're um uh, fifty's really good too. Um I like the I like using the ten or the fourteen. Um obviously the two week moving average, but uh, I just like ten for I don't know, whatever reason. It's just it always kinda lines up with the way I, I, I would want to trade, but I took them off a while ago. I used to have them on here just as confluence. I actually have them on uh, MetaTrader, but I don't do my analysis on MetaTrader. Which ones are these? The 50 right here, the blue one, and this one's probably a 10 or an 8. I don't know why it's not letting me click on it. 8. You like exponential or simple? I just have regular. Yeah, simple. Simple is more good for swinging, I would say. Well, I don't know if it's a simple or not. It, like, simple, isn't that SMA? Yeah, SMA and then EMA. I mind just say MA on trading view. Moving average. It's probably a simple. Well, it's, it's a moving average, but click on it, and then you have the option to make it simple or uh, exponential. All right, so who do we have in here that will be doing this? James Little, we got Ali, Jaden, Derek. Any of you guys want to be in this challenge that you haven't told me? Geo? Geo does. I look you want to start it next week with the new month. Okay. I like it. That's a, a good idea. We could do that. I was I was honestly planning on doing that, and then I was like, because I was thinking about it over the weekend. So I was like, why don't I just start it this week? Like, why why would I be holding off for next week? And then, uh, but that makes sense. So we we could always do that. Um, Ali said he was in. Justin, did you want to be in on this challenge? Alan? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, I'll do it too. Okay, cool. And just so you know, I don't feel obligated to do it either. It's, uh, But I think you both are pretty uh, ready for something like that. Yeah. Yeah, no pressure, just really. Exactly. It's doing, it's something doing, doing the same doing... stuff and, yeah, by the, by the same time doing the competition, yeah, like – not doing stupid decisions. Yeah, it, it can go one or two ways. It could keep you from making stupid decisions, or you can make the stupid decisions because yeah. of the challenge. And that's what I don't yeah. want it to turn into. Oh, yeah, I understand you. So just really make sure that, you know, your trading account is number one. But this and, just, uh, it, what this does is it keeps that accountability going. And also like that, that challenge of knowing that people are really pushing to actually beat each other. Uh, not that we're all against each other, because I want people to continue to add their analysis to the group and obviously share everything that they're doing. But it it, it makes you want to put more work in because it's like, all right, I'm, I'm getting down on my account or something like that. It's like, all right, I got to do some more back testing right now 
because I want to be people, you know? Exactly. And it creates that healthy competition that you want. So, um, so yeah, we're, that's, that's kind of how we're going to go about it. And this is the, okay, the weekly one. So it started already, yeah, or you're planning next week? Uh, we'll, we'll do next week. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, weekly. And then somehow maybe we could tie this into, I don't know, trying to think of like milestones that we can all hit that it's like, all right, if we hit this collectively as a group, we can all plan a trip to like Punta Cana or um, some kind of like group trip somewhere all inclusive for, you know, a couple of days. Maybe we all go down there and, and, you know, people have iPads, laptops and stuff and, Obviously, we're going to be enjoying our time down there, but like during the week in the morning, we can all like get up and trade and and do it in a comfortable environment. And uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Whoever's in could be but, a good goal. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know how we could tie that into this challenge, but uh, we'll take yeah, it, it needs to time. take it one because step. It's quite time. money related, yeah. Depends yeah. on maybe you should everybody. pick a date that way it's a goal of like what everybody needs to strive towards perfect that's why i got you in here brother just full of ideas man oh yeah <laughs> it's like a little retreat what do you think of these these little nas sneakers Jaden? Disgusting. Did, did you watch that? Did you watch the video? I didn't no, I didn't bother. I saw clips of it. Dude, it's so it's so demonic. It's yeah. it's like wow. Oh. I was I was very disgusted with Nike until I found out that Nike was not even associated with it. I was wondering that. I was like, I'm literally not gonna wear Nike. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Face. Like what the why yeah. like why are you even associating yourself with that? But came to find out he's just, he's just designing it. The partnership is with some kind of company and little Nas. That's it. What what's the rules for the uh, for the challenge? Is it like one trade a day? And um, no, uh, I, I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, th this is something we all need to brainstorm. Uh, I think no more than three percent a day. Um. That, that you could risk or three, I don't know. Um, it's going to be difficult to do. I, I literally just thought of this the other day. So I'm not, you know, I haven't been putting that much thought into it. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And any of your thoughts obviously are helpful. If you guys want to, if you guys think you have a good idea, just trying to bring some. Healthy competition in here. Well, it depends how vulnerable we all want to be, be, you know? Like, if we all submit our account balance at the beginning, then you can say, you can kind of do, like, what FTMO does and monitor, like, okay, you can only risk, you can only go beyond this much of your account per day and then, this amount per the total challenge um, so that it keeps people from risking like over leveraging. Cause obviously you can win if you over leveraging get lucky, but we don't want to do that. How would we do it with oh, yeah, exactly. everyone submits their, their FX book? Um, I don't know. FX book or yeah, whatever. Maybe or just like I've never used FX book, so I'd have to figure that out. Yeah, I can always show you, but um, yeah, I just started using it this year too. Um, does it just but, link right to your broker? What's up? Does it just link right to your broker? Yeah, yeah. So 
what what we could do though is just send a screenshot of the MT MT five, yeah. and obviously you see your account balance, and you know we can all look at the lot size that you guys are using. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it, quite simple. Yeah, you know, you just do the simple math on on what some of these trades are. Just glimpse over, and it's like, all right, this makes sense. They're they're not over trading, over risking. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll check it out. I think it's a good idea, yeah. Appreciate it. So who do we have in here? Gary's in. Derek's in. Gary. Bye, yeah. So Mate is in. So Balan Chick. Chicken mana. You know, four. All right, let's check out this. Got consumer confidence today. Got some FOMC speakers today. And then final GDP today for uh, the pound.
He's in Europe. Ethernet to bounce. Has anyone ever tried to trade gold during London Open? If so, what's the uh, what kind of results do you get? Is it it does it, it probably doesn't move the same as New York Open, but just curious. Today it ranged. Then we got the drop during pre New York. Uh, I don't think anyone in here trades London. I know Alan is about to be. Yeah. A couple of months, yeah, maybe three, four. Jaden doesn't, but not yet. Jaden, that's late at night for you, isn't it? I trade London a lot, but I don't ever trade gold. Mostly GBP pairs. Why don't you trade gold on it? I just always have better results trading it on uh, New York. Yeah, smart. I was at eight o'clock. Oh, man. You thinking about trading London, Justin? Yeah, I am. I was, because I've, I've, been, I've been, I've been getting pretty consistent with gold in New York, and I, I was just thinking to um, get a, um, to do more ses sessions, but, I know since gold's the other side of its USD and USD is obviously not open in London that it might not move as much. So I was just curious if anybody's messed with it before. If, and I, I haven't back tested it or really looked into it. It was just more of a thought than anything. Something you might want to take a look at is New York clothes. New York clothes I've been noticing is having some volume around that time, around three o'clock, two, three o'clock maybe four o'clock, you, you get some pushes in that time. And I'm sure it's the same case with gold. So you may want to start back testing that. That's a good idea. I'll, yeah. I'll, have, to, I'll have to look into that. I'm just trying yeah. to think of, you know, your time frame out in Colorado, right? Yeah. It's uh, two hours behind you. Yeah. Only two. Yeah. I yeah, guess so. yeah. 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 You're right. I noticed a push around 10 or 7 for you. 7 for? For you. Oh, 7 p.m.? No, a.m. Oh, 7 a.m. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the morning for New York, it seems like the, the whole, well, for me anyways, that gold can move the really the whole morning. I mean, from pre-New York to... I've even seen it as late as 7 or 9 a.m. my time or 11 a.m. New York time that it, it, it's, it still moves pretty good. So, but yeah. usually, after, usually after I place my trade and I do my work going to work, I, I really don't look at it too much. So, yeah. I you try to keep your, your eye off the market, not during your trading session as much as possible. And, um, you know, there, there's a lot of times you, you find yourself trying to hold back and it, it's better just not even look at it. But if you have the discipline, it's, it's great to look at, you know, you're just plotting out trades, getting used to your pair at certain times. But a lot of people don't have that. Last week, my discipline was really tested with gold just because of how much it ranged. And I was just getting yeah. pissed off. Just I felt like I was coming to the charts and just not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's it gets annoying when it comes to that. But you just got to know you're, you're, you don't have any opportunities up here. 
there's nothing really there besides maybe like this drop. Just dropped right over here. We traced the entire thing. But anything in here is just gross. Oof. That range really tested me, but I didn't place a trade, so that was good. Good, good job. I were out of it. I'm pissed yeah, we made this move, but... This is what I've been waiting for, but I didn't have any confirmations. Plus, I already I already took a trade on GJ yesterday morning, so wasn't about to enter that. Wasn't really a clear entry. Maybe right here on the one on the thirty minute. <laughs> what an entry this would have been. Twenty six pips. <laughs> Grab the entire move. Talk about a ratio. 350 pips right there. 13 to 1. We did that later. So could we get, I have this, let's see. We have a little order block right over here, but could we get, you know, let's see. Right over here. Could we get some kind of resistance forming right over here and a further drop? I want to see the monthly. I'm going to try taking a GJ buy after this 15 minute close. Okay. We got it in a golden zone ratio. 15 minute close? Yeah, go to the 15 and then I ran a Fibonacci from the low to the high here. Check it out. The old football. Uh, 61.8, yeah. Still like how this candle closed with no top work. I did small risk just because yeah. I shouldn't have taken a trade. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, because it gold? You're already done? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. It's awesome. When you placed that last night? Yeah. No, actually, I think I've been holding it since yesterday morning. Wow. This is the best, where you're just, like, calmly managing throughout the day. Well, I think I entered where you're, like, where you just marked up from that uh, entry, and so it just dropped and gave me, like, gave me a lot of room to just chill. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that thing just ran. Giovanni, is this a sexy candle? I don't know if he's still with us. Oh, this one with the no top wick. Oh, Geo's in this too.
What's your char uh, target, uh, Jaden? I see what you're looking at. What gave me the most confidence, what I've been back testing a lot is on the 15 minute chart, it really likes to respect the 50 uh, EMA. Like Do you once say I they mark me a bullish candle and on the 50 EMA, it usually goes up to the next high. If it previous. closes above it? Mm -hmm. mm. Looks like it's respecting it now with the current 15. Yeah. Do you have it on this? Oh, here. Yeah, right here. Oh, I'm talking about the 50 EM, the moving average. Sorry. Oh, EMA. My bad. Here, look at my screen. Oh, let me flip my camera. You see uh, that, uh, how it like just reacted off of that EMA? Yeah. Full of support on it. I like that. Looking at a possible entry on gold. The way it's shaping up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off, get ready for work. I'll, all right, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. You as well, man. See you in the morning. Thanks. See you. Bye. So I'm curious what gold does right over here. Looks like we created this bottom wick. Are we forming support to come right back above this area?
Oh man, oh man. Twenty three. All right, I just entered gold with the way it's pushing right now. I'm probably just going to secure the position from the M5, yeah? Uh, yeah, in the five minute. It's price is pushing down out of this area. Decision taken on M5, okay, okay. Past the low of this work right here. Yeah. Making a lower low and lower high. One percent risk. Uh just one percent. Yeah, I've already, I already took my trade, um, last night. So I'm just trying to experiment a little bit over here. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened to my gold? GJ is pushing back in the range. GJ is. I mean, I mean, it's coming to it. Yeah. And pips on GJ. Grabbed it. I didn't close, but I'm, I got it. <laughs> awesome. Full bearish on gold. You muted, bro. Yeah, I was talking to my fiance, my bad. Ah, sorry. So I guess that's your trying to talk. Giovanni. Sent, sent something over. Oh, wow. Got that sexy candle. <laughs> Giovanni agrees. Right, let's see how we play out. Sexy candle. Good shit, bro. Um, what I want to do. TP1683. I like it. Drop, baby. On gold, you're usually securing at 20 pips, yeah? Uh, yeah, 15, 20 pips at least. Depends on the setup. Yeah. It's like a minimum. Yeah. yeah. Kind of worried about the 30 minute creating a top wick. We need to just drop out of this area. What do you think of Giovanni? You probably have a wider stop loss.
like it. Nice. There we go. <whistles> See ya. Stop was a break even. Cancel this thing. Let this thing run. You go, Giovanni. Sirens, yes. Here. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. 54 pips. Good shit. I'm at 35. Let this thing run. Just keep going, gold. Keep taking that dump. Have some laxatives. Good shit, Giovanni. Woo! <laughs> Jaden's in this too, still. I actually got out, unfortunately. Oh, okay. 
still caught that big ass move. That's awesome. Gold should hit sixteen forty. Wow, man. To finish the month off, imagine. Clean, clean moves. Giovanni, you can't talk? Yeah, now I can. Oh, nice. What's Need up? some energy. That was awesome. <laughs> nice trade, right? Yes, sir. The US 30. I bet it's fucking rocking. Melting. US 30 is melting too? Did you catch any of this? No, no, no. I was looking at gold. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for another type of sell on US 30. Okay. I'm waiting for it to change to break my trend line off the 30 minute. On and US 30, you said? Yeah, like around 33,000. That's what I'm gonna go for sales after that. Talk about this one. Yep, that same one. That's yeah. a Look how many times it bounced off from it. That's what we were talking about yesterday, right? Yeah. So you're waiting for this key area right over here. Yep, I'm waiting for a nice close under and take it down all the way to 32,400. Yeah. Because the US 30 has been having an issue passing that level because it's a strong daily zone. 32,400? 33, 33,000. Oh, 33,000. Yeah, it's a psychological level. You've got to be patient with US 30. 
Hundred percent. And gold is hitting a, a daily zone too now. That's why it's having a having that oh, bottom. Yeah. It's happening sixteen sixteen hundred. So that's why I'm uh Yeah, sixteen eighty two is a is a daily zone. That's why I had my TP to sixteen eighty three, four fifty. Awesome. So you're already out of this? Yeah. Yeah, I did I was happy with fifty one pips. Nice. As you should be, right? Yeah, I already I secured at sixteen eighty down here. He pissed off because yesterday I entered yesterday gold. I entered at seventeen twenty seven. Mm. I would have had a massive move. Happens, man. You got plenty of opportunity, you know. Like remember saying that, you know, back when we were up here about stuff like this. You're like, oh, I wish I caught that. And then all of a sudden you caught 100 pips out of this. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're going to get that opportunity. It's all good. Glad I at least got a piece of this. Should have been up from here. Archive that one. Short six U. What time did we grab this? You fifteen. Yeah, but. Eight twenty. Wonder if we break through sixteen eighty. That'd be interesting. I think that's a little greedy and ambitious. I think so. 
<laughs> so let's see what we got for the next couple months. Like if we break through there, we could be coming right back down. 1640, 1641. Pressure just pushing down. We could definitely be forming support over here and continuing back up though too. Uh, but we shall see. We'll see the monthly. Yeah, monthly is making its final push. Damn, is gold coming? Is gold like correcting? Is Does this mean that the economy is starting to come back? I thought we were going to get similar price action to this, which it is similar, but is it going to range a little bit over here before it starts coming down? But looks like we're just driving. Mm -hmm. Finish this monthly off strong. I'm sure the I'm sure we're gonna get some retracement. Look at that. This candle's beautiful. This right here for me is a sexy setup, Giovanni. Right here with this weak candle. Big bullish candle and the pass of it. That's your sexy candle right there. Yeah, it is. That's what I look for on the lower time frames. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to see. Let's see what we got here. Wow, we're pushing through sixteen eighty. Could it keep going? Ellie, did you take anything today? I did not know. Okay. Didn't see anything good enough. Yeah. Yeah, you, you mainly trade GJ, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like it. Good job staying back. Nothing much to take. This would be nice right here. Not going to get in it, but it's just too small of a range. It's only 13 pips, but it's good setup. Yeah, we'll see how the 30 closes. Yeah, exactly. You trade mainly on the, the 30? For now, yeah. Yeah. The only time I really flip to the 15 is just to, to manage risk. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's typically what you want to do. If you trade on the 30, you drop down to the 15. If you trade on the one hour, you drop down to the 30 to mm -hmm. manage that risk. You've been able to add more uh, structure to your day? Yeah, definitely. Just planning on my day has oh, made man. tremendous amounts of difference. I know. You do it at night, right? Yeah, at night or uh, like first thing when I wake up. Yeah. But ideally at night. The, the doing it at night makes it much easier for you to wake up in the morning. 100%. <laughs> you know, it, it's a difference maker. Because if you don't plan your day out the night before, it's like, you know, I don't know, you, you don't feel like you have that, that purpose to really wake up like the way you, you, you do when you're at your most optimal state. Right. Yeah, it's been good. I'm forgetting less things, too, that I have to do and making a priority to get more, like, even personal things done. So it's been good. Here you go, man.
Love to hear that. Love to hear it. EJ is just messing around. Yeah, it was very, very, um, very nice setup over here. Same thing over here. Very similar setup. Did that retest? Or it's just dropping, trending. It's what you look for. But I think that's about it. I mean, not much discussion going on. So we can uh, wrap it up today, continue tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to make this bar graph today for our challenge and then see if anyone else is interested and uh, start making this for the weekly, the monthly. There we go. Oh, wow, that's how it is. But um, yeah, that should get fun. We'll start this next week. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, have a great day. I'm going to upload this to YouTube right now. Uh, go get a workout in and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Guys. All right, guys, have a good one. Likewise, brother. Bye, everyone.